Rugby. We're going to show you the highlights of the fight, and here, of course, as usual, our commentators Jim Rosenthal and Jim Watt. Round two, then. Quiet opening round. And that's part of the course, as far as Costas Petru, the 24-year-old from Kings Heath in Birmingham, is concerned. A scaffolder, when he isn't throwing punches in the ring, Costas Petru. Very popular fighter around the Midlands. And then Lloyd Christie, he's up against a, a fellow who's had a fairly patchy career. Be beaten twice overseas this year by a fellow called John Mundunga, who beat him twice in Germany. On his record, Lloyd Christie's record, he's got wins over Paul Chance and Colin Power. He's a good, correct hitter, but... He's let himself down outside the ring with his preparation and dedication towards this fighting game. A minute gone, second round. Scheduled to go 12 rounds. Referee in there, Sid Nathan. Had nothing to do thus far. Jim, what, what are you making of this so far? Well, uh, the contest hasn't really caught light yet. Uh, they're both are very careful and very cagey. I think they both have respect for each other's punches. Christie seems to be trying to find a way through with a big right hand. I see him cocking it a couple of times and then changing his mind. The yeah, Petru has been a, bit, a little bit cagey. So there it is. Christie got through with the right hand there, but thankfully Petru handled it all right. Well, that's the best moment of the fight so far as we move into the last minute of the second round. Both fighters perhaps showing too much respect to each other, but there's quite a lot at stake here. It's the final eliminator, this one. And neither of them want to throw away the chance of a shot at the British title. And a good, accurate, correct punch from Lloyd Christie. Petru felt that he's a good, well-conditioned fighter, Costas Petru. He's caught with a right there. Good flurry from Christie here, and Petru is down. The slow-starting Petru is down. Box on, says referee Sid Nathan. There goes the bell. Well, as Petru picks his gum shield up, we said how slow he was to start. He said it was Christie's best chance to get things done early on. And there's Christie, who was delighted with that. Jim Watt. Yeah, well, Petru has never had enough authority in his work, and he paid the price there. He seems to be being too cagey in the early stages of the fight. No authority at all in his work. And as I say, he paid the price, and ran into some trouble. He'll have to start trying to push Christie back a bit, I would say. I'd like another look at that punch, if we could see that. I think we're going to get it now, aren't we? Very slow starting for True, and that was one that, that obviously wobbled him a little bit. Yeah, well, that, that punch caught him high, which, which uh, that, that yeah. kind of punch can do a lot of damage. And, and then the shot goes, hand up, there'll be a couple of good punches. That's right. Well, he's got big problems now. Costas Petru, because Lloyd Christie, whose day has gone against him completely so far, is out with a spring in his step. Almost anything you can do, I can do better, Lloyd, as far as his brother Errol is concerned. And Petru is surely going to have to step up a gear here. And that old failure of his could cost him dearly. Petru down and in trouble, and in trouble again by the look of it. He's a bit square on Petru, he's, but he's coming back with a good right hand. This is developing into a very good fight now. Costas Petru stung by Christie. But the Greek tank 
determined to, to plough back and recover from that setback of being knocked down. Right hand seemed to come from almost the bull ring. But it caught Christie. Well, perhaps Lloyd Christie would have been well advised to try and force things here. But perhaps Petru showing that he's still got quite a lot left has made Christie think again. But Petru is backed up in that corner where he was knocked down. And the crowd are enjoying this one. Well, the fight certainly caught light now. I think they've both realised the other man has the power to hurt them. And uh, they don't want to... To get caught sleeping now, they have to concentrate all the time and they've both started to let big punches go. Certainly a far better contest now. This is a good contest and Costas Petru's supporters are trying to help him through some more dodgy moments right above us. Christie. But Petru looked really wobbly towards the end of the last round. At least is doing enough to give his supporter some hope as we come into the last 30 seconds of what has been a very good third round of a final eliminator for the British welterweight title that has caught fire in these last couple of rounds. Again, we'll finish with the true hemmed in the corner. Ninth round. Costas Petru defending his Midland area title. Petru in the gold. Lloyd Christie offering a very spirited attack on that title. And the winner gets a shot at the British title. A lot at stake and a lot still to be decided in these closing rounds. A lot of people in the ninth are surprised how Lloyd Christie has stayed the course and how aggressive he's been and also how Petru, the champion, has allowed Christie not to dominate but to take the fight to him. Petru down and in trouble early in the fight. And a couple of times he's shown Christie a big right hand. But Christie has taken them well. effort by Christie. Petru's sizable support here. Very quiet at the moment. This is not what they were expecting at all. But he's still got the punching power to send them all happy. Send them all home happy. Looked in trouble for a moment, but they got out of it very smartly, did Petru. And the minute left, and all of a sudden it's Christie who's in trouble on the ropes. Now, can Petru sustain it? That's the question. Looks like a cut. Looks like Petru might just be cut. I'm just looking for it. We'll take a closer look at that at the end of the, of the round. Might just be a nick over Petru's left eye. And Christie. And Christie will be inspired by that. Well, could the title be changing hands here? 
Lloyd Christie thinks it is. I think they, the title will be. Going back with him. Costas Petru will claim otherwise. Jim Watt. Yeah, well, I think Petru is nicked over the, the left eye there, and it, it looked about half an inch long. So maybe that is just what he needs, maybe to rev him up a little bit. I still feel that he's allowing Christie to dictate the pace, push him around all the time. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, his title could be slipping away. Petru's work has always been neater, his defence has been tight and his punch is cleaner. But Christie has always been the busier and always throwing a lot more punches, doing a lot more work. And for me, he may be just be putting his nose in front. So in the last couple of rounds, I think Petru is going to have to waken up his ideas and get to work. Maybe the cut over his eye will just spur him on and make him do that. Are you surprised though, Jim, by the way, Lo Lloyd Christie has managed to stay the distance here? Yeah, he must have been in very good condition actually. Uh, to, to shed two pounds after the weigh-in and come in and manage to stay in this pace, uh, he's be pretty proud of himself, he must be in good condition. Second out. round and everything building up here to a very dramatic finish indeed. Costas Petru, the defending champion, possibly on the wrong end of things against the challenger in red, Lloyd Christie. His brother Errol is alongside us and is getting more and more confident about his brother's performance as the rounds go by. But Petru the reputation of being a strong and occasionally a devastating finisher. Might just produce something in championship style. But he's let Lloyd Christie get on top. He's let him dominate things to a certain extent, possibly hoping that Christie would wear himself out. And now it's down to Petru, really, to change the complexion of the fight good left hand for Petru. Christie responds immediately. Well, this has been a fight that's been well received here at Digbeth Civic Hall, and I'm sure you're all enjoying it too. I'm wondering just how it's going to go. Pleaser again. Christie getting roared forward by his corner now. He sensed he could upset things here tonight. Good left hand though, downstairs from Petru. But Christie, as we move into the last minute of the tenth, as he has done throughout the fight. As Jim Watt says, he must be in good condition because he's come, comes bouncing straight back. Great atmosphere here now at Digbeth. And it's the sort of fight, really, that there could be a few nobbins coming in. And for true, three or four good punches. Christie's legs buckled for a moment. Just showing he's got the ammunition moments for the challenger and he's half inside the, the ring and half out and referee Sid Nathan steps in and saves him some section of the crowd thought he'd stop the fight no question of that though last 10 seconds of a very dramatic 10th round it's gone both ways and possibly Petru has seized the initiative here end of the round Jim well, that's been the best round of the fight without a doubt and it was Petru's round, it's the first time Petru's managed to launch an attack and sustain that attack and keep it going for most of the round. But at the same time, Christy fought back all the way and towards the end of the round he was still throwing hard punches himself. But uh, I think that the tenth round has done Christy a lot more harm than has done Petru. So we'll find out now if Petru can capitalise on that and uh, maybe clinch the job in the last couple of rounds. But the fight is still in the balance, still a very tight fight and I wouldn't like to have to score it at the end of this fight if it goes the distance. Well, really, Costas Petru, in this round, it was probably his best round. And there are two good punches and the third coming in too. A good flurry from Petru, but Christie 
Well, he's got to be a very fit man. He must have come to this fight in excellent condition, and he came right back. Christie has told brother Lloyd keep working and you might have got it and Lloyd said don't worry I will good right hand for true Christie in trouble now he's in trouble now Christie The Greek tank produced the big right, but Christie showing tremendous guts, refuses to go down, and that was a very strong punch. He's got his fans going now, Costas Petru, they're making an enormous din in this tightly packed Digbeth Civic Hall, a minute gone, round 11. Keep your head up, said Nathan, says to Christie, but the first time he's been involved in the fight, the referee shows what a good one it's been. Little chopping punches from Petru. Out comes Christie's gun shield. Little left from Petru. He's dominating this round, really. He won the last Petru. He's coming on strong towards the end of this fight. Has Christie got the conditioning and the stamina to keep going after taking off that weight but goodness me he's shown he can take a punch there Lloyd Christie as Sid Nathan chucks his gum shield into his corner he showed he can take a punch and he can come back and all I can say is if he isn't training well in the gym goodness knows what it'd be like if he did but Petru piles it in now right above us Christie battles back on the ropes Tremendous fight back from Christie. And Petru has to give ground again. What a good fight. Christie out through the ropes almost now. It's Petru's turn to dominate. Right hand Petru, two of them. But Christie has still got his boxing brain around him. He's weaving. Referee Sid Nathan parts them. What a good round this has been, and what a good fight too. Lloyd Christie, as we approach the last 10 seconds, comes forward again, but his legs are looking a bit rubbery now. Good left hand, Costas, from Costas for true, and that's the end of the 11th. And the crowd are on their feet. Jim Watt. Well, that was an even better round than the 10th, which was exceptionally good. But again, Petru probably just shaded the round. The full credit to Christie because he must be exhausted, but he just keeps forcing himself on and on. But the 10th and the 11th round have taken a lot out of Christie, so we'll find out now if Petru can move in in the 12th round and possibly turn the verdict back in his favour because a lot of uh, close rounds early in the contest, this is just what the fight needs. Just looking at one of the many incidents in that round, really. It was a good round for Petru, and Christie showed all his boxing brain really to stay alive in that round. And there was a right hand from Petru that would have put a lot of fighters down and out. But Christie battled back into it, and he's still alive as we approach the last round. last round of an excellent final eliminator for the British for the British title it's Christie who starts off with one final effort step up your work rate and Lloyd Christie might believe he's won the title here it's going to be a close thing he's probably lost the last two rounds Christie but he did a lot of good work early on 
good right hand from Christie there. And Petru is pinned in a corner by Christie. A minute gone, last round. Sid Nathan helps Petru out of a very awkward predicament. Boy, Christie seems to be coming on very strong, Jim Watt. Yeah, he's forcing himself on, he's actually exhausted. You can see the way his legs are moving, he's exhausted. He's a tremendous will to win. All the way through, I think he's wanted to win this contest a little bit more than Petru. And as his will to win, he's driving him on now. But, uh, oh, what a terrific fight has developed into. I feel sure that the Nobbins are going to come into the ring after this fight. It's been a really good, rugged contest. A lot to praise. A lot of praise, really, for both fighters. Christie is out on his feet. But he's still coming forward. Petru is not going to let the title go easily. What a good battle. What a good last round. Toe to toe start. Into the last minute. They're both exhausted. Right above us here. Boy, Christie nearly came with the line and Jim Watt laps. into Lloyd Christie's corner is Petru. Last 30 seconds, little chopping punch from Lloyd Christie and Petru is backed away and they're both nearly out of the ring. Little warning from referee Sid Nathan, last 15 seconds. A tremendous scrap, a tremendous final eliminator for the British welterweight title. That's the end of the fight. And referee Sid Nathan gives it to the champion, Costas Petru. But what a fight he had. What a fight he had to retain his title. And he will be the first to admit it. job of refereeing to, to separate these two boys tonight. Uh, Petru's punches were always a little bit cleaner, his work a bit cleaner, but Christy all the way through was the, the driving force and did more work. I would have been inclined maybe to give it to Christy because of the work uh, that, that he was putting out, but the referees decided the cleaner boxing and the cleaner punches has seen Petru through. But uh, no way could you argue with a decision in a contest like that. It was so close all the way through until the last couple of rounds when Petru took over. As I said, the Nobbins are coming into the ring in appreciation of a great fight. Let's see what Errol Christie thinks of that fight. And he's with Gary Newbon. Well, Errol, what about that? Really, it was the right result, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was the right result. Uh, yeah, it was the right result. Great fight, you know. Both give their all. The reason you hesitate there, well, you just missed being hit by some coins. The Nobbins are really coming in here. Oh, yeah, we're going through my way. <laughs> but they deserve Nobbins after that. Oh, yeah, it was a great fight. You know, one of the best fights I've ever seen, anyway. Costas Petru very, very strong. Uh, really, Lloyd paid, from his point of view, surely for having to shed two pounds. Yeah, two pounds in an hour is a lot of weight to take off. And uh, it showed in the way he was punching, because Wesley's normally a strong puncher. And uh, his punches resulted into nothing. It just turned into nothing. Well, there we are then. Costas Petru retained his title. But by the narrowest possible margin, if I heard the story correctly, just one round in it. What a good fight. And there'll be no complaints, really, about that verdict. All that might happen is that everybody would like to see these two in the ring 